Okay. Uh, <coughs> oh, shit. Hold on. I'll be right back. I am back on YouTube, and you know that because you're watching this. You'll notice the comments are off. It's not because I got any nasty comments uh, yet. I'm just turning them off. That's what I'm doing from now on. You wanna know why? Because I wanted YouTube to be a video platform, not really social media. So you get to watch the video, and then you go either, okay, I think that that was worthwhile information and I'm gonna, I'll subscribe and I'll ch maybe check out his books and, and uh, what he does and that's great, that's great. Or you go, I don't like that ball, motherfucker. Either way, you watch the video and then you get on with your life. That's, that's the goal with this, right? Now, what you're gonna notice here, this cup has a little like flashing, I don't know if you guys can see it, flashing light there, you wanna know why? This is a uh, cup that keeps the, the liquid, in this case, in most cases, coffee, mm. at a standard temperature. <clears throat> Late birthday gift. I'm so excited. It will literally, a uh, app on my phone will come up and it'll go, your coffee has reached the ideal temperature. Like it, if it's hotter, it waits and then it keeps it at a, it's quite genius. Side note, I have been roasting some absolutely stellar coffee. Uh, nothing says uh, coffee roasting like a shelter in order. The coronavirus, I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I've, I've done a fair amount of talks for cancer groups. And one of, the, one of the questions I ask sometimes is, who here wants to talk about cancer all the time? N nobody, none of them wants to talk about cancer all the time. They're already talking about it, sort of, out there, they're doing what they're doing, and, and oftentimes we need a little bit of a break to not talk about the thing, because it's not the only thing. Yes, it's dominating the news and everything, and I got, I'll got say a few things about diet today, but if you can find other shit to talk about, you're gonna be better off. Yes, know what you need to know, but then, you know, talk about a mug that heats your coffee. If only we could apply our brilliant minds to more positive things like this, that would be very, very cool. What I want to talk about today is survival versus thrival. Surviving versus thriving. This is super important right now because a lot of people are home. We're homebound. And we're thinking about surviving. I mean, that's kind of the thing, like surviving this, yes? But in general, there's a difference between surviving and thriving. It's pretty obvious. Surviving is just kind of staying alive. But thriving is not only staying alive, but being alive. Everything that I do and talk about with people is on the thriving end of the things. This is not about survival. In the package of thriving, of course you're surviving because if you weren't surviving, you wouldn't freaking be thriving. Don't make me be logical. I'm saying that just because of all the craziness going on doesn't mean you have to get into survival mode. It just means that you have to pay maybe a little more attention to that, but also don't take your eye off the thriving mode of things, which means taking care of yourself, keeping your stress levels moderate, managed as much as you possibly can, doing some extra things in other areas that are, you know, you can't do while you're at work and take advantage of that. Creative stuff, writing songs, writing books, painting, journaling, meditating, some other things that you can do because you maybe have more time on your hands that can kind of keep that stuff managed. That's the name of the game right now. That's how you thrive even in this situation. And I will finish by saying one side note. For all you keto, paleo things out there, you can get by with those diets, to be sure. Lots of people are, you can get by, but they're not ideal. You can get by if you're very careful about how you do those things. This is not the time for that, okay? Don't create more stress on that level of diet and, and that kind of thing. In normal areas, yes, you can pay a little more attention to food, and get by on the keto, paleo, Atkins, it's all the same thing in it. For now, and I just did a, a video on this for the Stanford Inn, you might wanna to subscribe to the Stanford Inn's uh, YouTube channel, but it's all about fiber. Right now, and I think beyond, can we agree if you wanna keep thriving, that is, wink, wink, wait, wink, fiber. Put fiber in your body as much as you can right now, okay? Because it feeds the good gut bacteria, that's the first line of defense of our immune system. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Nourish your body, 
and your mind. Nourish both. Keep your eye on the thriving end of things. Even though you think you shouldn't be, even though you think you should be all about survival and buying as much toilet paper as you can because it's the apocalypse, pay attention to how you are nourishing your mind and body during this time and beyond. Yes, because we always want to thrive. We don't want everybody to be in a survival mode, okay? Yes, take care of ourselves to survive, of course, but also thrive.